Oh, God, what did you put in this coffee? Why, it's no good? No, it's it's great. Is, is like a vanilla in there? It's a uh, hazelnut. Mm. I put an actual hazelnut. Yumbo Mag... I was going to say Yumbo McGillicuddy. What is a... Uh... When you were little, you used to say, anytime you liked the way something tasted, you'd say Yumbo McGillicuddy. That wasn't me, Dad. Let me see some ID. Hey, I, I, we got we got to do something about this situation here. I hear you. This is like the fourth day in a row that it's taken me 25 minutes to find a pair of socks that match. And you know I love my thin black socks. They fit snug. They, I can never find a pair that matches. Well, you do what I do. What is that? I go buy singles. They sell those in the big bin. I just spend too much time looking for stuff. What I suggest mm-hmm. is we have Grace in full time. Every day of the week. No, I, I, don't, I can't afford to pay somebody full-time to come in here. I think people do that. They have live-ins. I don't know. Grace is a... Uh, she has a distinct odor. Yeah. That, you know, once a week is fine with me. Yeah, that's not nice. You know, Julie was telling me about these people whose livelihood is actually coming into your home and redesigning your closet space. Well, not my space, then. I mean, they can do it to the other space, but my space is, is well plotted out. Well, I, I think you might, you know, it's like a fresh start. You know, maybe since mom, maybe since mom has left, this place has gone to hell. We do need a woman's touch. Well, yeah, maybe just grace isn't enough. I think that uh, if we want this place clean, you've got to remarry. That is, would be the least romantic proposal a guy could make. Yeah. You have so many wonderful qualities and, and appliances. And, <laughs> and, and, and will you take... Will you take your time with the living room, please? I had to put my dog Petey to sleep. Jeez, I'm sorry to hear that, Elaine. People don't know how to express their feelings, you know? I think America really needs greeting cards because no one knows what to say. Everyone says the same thing. You put him to sleep. Oh, was he sick? Oh, no. He was just getting on my nerves. That, that's... I mean, I did everything. I took him everywhere. I had such an expensive vet, you know? Mm. I mean, I go to pick the dog up and the new young girl behind the counter, she says, $3,000. The whole waiting room looks up. A woman says, what did you have done? I said, well, uh, apparently the animal bought a car after I dropped him off. Uh, I used to wish my dog could talk. I used to dream about his different voices. And then I realized, he's a dog. If he gets the power of speech, this is what you're going to have to listen to for the rest of your life. Throw the ball, 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 throw the ball. I threw it. Oh, throw it again, throw it again, throw it again, throw it again, throw the ball, throw the ball. Shh, look, don't say ball again. Okay... Cookie, 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 cookie. You see some scientists spend 20 years in the lab inventing ice cream for dogs? It's in the market. Frosty Paws. Hmm. He made it taste like vanilla, hardly selling at all. Would have made it taste like duty. Dogs would be robbing stores with guns. You said duty. So these people will come in and actually build closets. Well, they, they build closets. They also have pre-existing drawers and shelving units that they sell you. Mm-hmm. It's a scam. <laughs> All right, good. But some of them are cheaper than others. I can handle this. Okay. This is a project that I'd be happy to do. Could you get a list of names of companies that do this kind of work? Get some estimates? You know, maybe have some people come in and look at the space. Uh-huh. They're, they're listed in the yellow pages, and also you can call Julie, and she can tell you the name of the place she used. All right, you know, I can do this on my own. I don't need... You know, I don't need your help on it. That's what I'm hoping. All right. Who do I call again? Julie? You should try that. Yeah? Yeah, I, maybe you should. I think there's, there's certain things that I don't want to find. You know, it's better off uh, lost. You know, it's things like my um, 32-inch jeans. Oh, yeah. uh, my, uh, well, your legs are still 32 inches long. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's the it's the button at the top. Wear them sideways. It's kind of uh, it's and like then, an archival uh, thing, though, isn't it? Uh, when I put those on and the belly hangs over, I don't think archives. I think fado. You leave them hanging. You hang. It's them. hanging, all right. No, no. Oh yeah. You know what? A lot of women actually like a little bit of girth in a man. Really? I ain't met one yet. Julie, back me up on this. Is that true? Julie, I'm looking for your support here. Should I look further? Well, Stan. What about my paunch? <laughs> I can't. I can't answer that. Come on. A guy who, with a little bit of a pot yeah. belly, yeah. it says that it says something about the guy that he's, mm-hmm. he's relaxed about the fat slob he's become. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and women like that.
would you say that you use the storage space in your apartment wisely? I'd say yes. The reason I ask is because I'm thinking about having a guy paying some guy to come in and redesign the closet space in my apartment. Really? Yep. I, I mean, I think, yeah, sure. Well, because I can never, I can never find anything, and, and I think it's just an orga organizational problem, and I can't fix it. You can't. No, because I, you know, it's it's a jungle there. It really is. I, I've gone into my closet and come out hungry and confused and cold, dehydrated. Well, that's you know, good for you. I don't mean I'm, I don't mean to be bending your ear like this. No, it's very interesting. So, how are we doing for space here? Not too good. We, you know, we have um, a closet here where I put my coat, where you put your coat. Yeah. And what's that? Those are um, what is in the carton that oh, says I, I, sweaters? What is that? What is that stuff? Well, that's. It's my winter clothes. And uh, what what are those? Your skis? <laughs> Mike Rowe, uh, I'm here to see Dr. Katz. Could you take a seat, please? <laughs> What do you want, the bossa nova? <laughs> am, I, am I blousing okay? I guess, Mike. I don't, I'm not sure I'm the expert on the subject. <sighs> I don't, I'm just feeling bad about myself. You know, there's this thing that happens when you, when you put on weight and you haven't seen friends and family in a while, they don't know how to react. Mm. You know, they, they just kind of stare at you. You know, they're like, hey, look at you. No, you look good. Looks good on you. Not a lot of people can pull that off, but you, you look great. It's like you did it on purpose. People can't always find the right thing to say for every situation. You know, that's a very tricky area you're talking about. You're vulnerable and you're very large. Yeah, tell me about your dad. You never, you never talk about him. Well, my dad is one of these Mister Fixit guys. Uh -huh. He's always got to be building something, creating. You know, right. eight o'clock Sunday morning, he'd be locked down in the basement. You know, he's there with the power tools. <coughs> dad, what are you doing? <coughs> We're making breakfast. <coughs> my sister got married. We had to lead him into the church with a broken toaster. Come on, Dad. Yeah, this way. Come on. Mm. My dad's a golfer. Yeah. Well, not really. He watches on TV. Mm -hmm. Takes the same amount of energy. You get that sweat going on that vinyl seat after like nine hours. Yeah. But this is what I learned from that. Anyone can be a golf announcer. All you have to do is use that voice you use when you call in sick at work. I won't be coming in today. I have a golf game to announce. I'll be in tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs> I'm just wondering if... What, what if you're a golf announcer and you want to get out of work you know there are so many Elvis impersonators out there why would you go into such a competitive area say so I wouldn't do any of the songs I would just do thank you very much mm -hmm. but I break it up you know because I know people get bored but I make it exciting I would do like uh, Elvis picking up his dry cleaning like you thank you very much Elvis picking up his food at Burger King thank you very much this is the large, right? Thank you. Elvis working in a movie theater? Thank you. Cinema 3. Thank you very much. No more? I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs because of the films they showed me in high school to scare me. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen these, but these are the ones that made like 1969, mm -hmm. hosted by Sonny Bono. Right. If you haven't seen the film, there's a kid at a party. He has like one hit of marijuana. For the rest of his life, he's a basket case. He's going to hallucinate forever now. He's like... So his music is what's flipping him out. Hey, Dad. Status report. So have you set up appointments? I set up a whole bunch. Oh, great, great. Clutterers Anonymous is coming. Okay. Closet case coming today. Mm -hmm. Space case also coming today. Oh, great. Closet culture is not coming. They went out of business. 
Oh, that's too bad. This number has been disconnected. <laughs> Did you try Clutterbug? Uh, Clutterbug's coming tomorrow. Okay. Coming also tomorrow. Mass America. <laughs> Which I think is a non-profit. Right. And also called Rick's Deli. Rick's Deli? That was one of the wrong numbers. Okay, so what did you find out? You know, this is a little more complicated than I first suspected. I mean, you got to fill out a survey. Oh, really? And a whole evaluation about how, you know, how you use your space. It gets pretty personal. Yeah. Can I just quickly ask you a couple of questions, Dan? Absolutely. What to, is the first thing you, that you reach for in the morning? A six-pack. A nice cold six-pack. you got a big problem. <laughs> We're going to get you a walk-in fridge. Right there in the room, and they will take care of that. No. First thing I reach for, for in the morning, I really, I guess, is my glasses. Your glasses? Yep. Need a closet for them? Ben, I will see you tonight. One more, one more. Okay, go ahead, okay. quick. Do you want a warranty with that closet? Is it a lifetime warranty? And if it is, I'm 49, I don't want to pay a full lifetime. Okay, so have you have you heard back from them yet? The woman, the consultant, is coming over at three. Okay, I, I suggest you uh, you straighten up the house a little bit. Well, isn't that her job? You know, that's why. Like, no, no, uh, no, that's no, why no, I, no, no, because you know, I don't want her to think that that we we live, live like pigs. Dad, I'm going to show her how we live. Yeah, but don't show her the part where we live like pigs. I won't let her in. We'll do it all in the hall. Well, then straighten up the hall. <laughs> And I think everybody wants to have a good relationship. You want to give the other person what they want. But the trouble is, what does anybody want? I mean, what do women want? Well, women want someone. I th women want someone. Yeah. They just want someone. We'll do the work. Just, just give us someone. Well, I don't, see, I don't think it's fair to, to generalize about what people want based on gender. I know what men want. That I know. Men want to be really, really, really close to someone who will leave them alone. Dr. Katz's office. Hey, it's Ben. Hi. Have you ever, like, completely redone your apartment, you know, to organize? Oh, well, yeah, once in a while. But you strike me as the kind of a person who doesn't organize well. I mean, you... Why do you say that? Just because there's always papers on your desk. I'm very organized. I'm a secretary. Papers should be clear. A desk should always be cleared off. Really? Who says that? The closet people. Well, the closet people don't know desks. It's like a new expression. The thing about breaking up, when you, when you get older, you just don't have that kind of steam anymore. You break up when you're young, you don't care. Sure. Break up every other day when you're young, you got energy, that's it. Ha! You're lost. It's not just energy, you have time. And you have that very high voice. Then you break up when you're older, you go, oh, that's it. Oh, can't start shaving my legs above the knee again. Hey, Lark, uh, do you fold or ball your socks? <sighs> ball. You, you really? Can I go now? Uh, not yet. I just have a couple more questions here. Um, what's the first thing you reach for in the morning? You can be, you know, specific. The snooze button. All right. Where do you keep your, uh, your delicates? Bye, Ben. You want to hear the childhood daredevil stories my mother tells company? You know something? Once a glass broke on the kitchen floor, not one week later... My daughter was back in there with no shoes on. Is that true, Elaine? I'm not kidding. My parents broke a glass in 1954. They sold the house in 85. My mother warned the new owners. She said, I think I got all the big pieces, but there could be slivers. You don't know. You can't know. You don't. You can't. You can't. You don't. You can't. You don't. So how did it go? It, uh, you know, it was okay. It was a little rough. I was nervous. Yeah. You know, as I always am. Meeting a new woman? Face-to-face -face meetings. Yeah. You know, so I, I think I panicked. Mm -hmm. I was halfway through the meeting, I ran out <laughs> and locked myself in my room. She knew so much about closets, it made me nervous. Yeah, you felt like you were in over, the, over your head? She had this attitude like uh, we needed a lot of closet space. Well, that's just their pitch. You know, that's their, they, they want to sell you their services. Well, she was good at it. I mean, she yeah. made it sound like we were at their desperate times here. No one's going to come in in that business and say, you guys have it under control, you don't need me. Well, she did say, I would tell you if I'm lying about how much closet space you need. She said that. Yeah. I mean, just, just out of curiosity, which closet 
did she recommend for us? Take a look at the brochure here. Mm -hmm. Let's say, Dad, yeah. you're willing to spend $15,000. We could get the Liberace, which is right here. Now take a look at that baby. Huh? No, this is, this is not for us, Ben. You don't want to have to get dressed up just to go to your closet. Well, actually, we don't have to get some of the high-priced closet space. This is a blueprint of what she... Ben... She said that she, what, she, what she could do here was actually convert your bedroom space into a walk-in closet. But, but that would make sense if we had an extra bedroom. Or you got to sleep on the couch. Yeah, so now let's, let's be realistic here. I think I'm willing to spend as much as $1,200. Did she show you the $1,200 version? Let me turn to page cheap. This is the, uh, the bottom of the line. It's a box, and you throw your stuff in it, and you jam it in until it's full, and then you try and close it. Let's All get right? two of those and call it a day. Done. Wait, 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 Ben, I'm not, I'm not annoyed. I just want you to explain to me one more time where I would hang up a suit. Well, that's... What you know, I can hang up a jacket here, but it gets squished. I, you know, Dad... Where, where, where do I put my shoes? Uh, you can't put them in here. This is a very efficient use of space if we're rodents or something, you know? I mean, if we, if we collected little trinkets of things. And who labeled this left cufflink, right cufflink? That's, it's all part of the deal. It all comes labeled? Complaints, no, complaints. Well, there's no room, there's no... Space for me to hang up a pair of pants in here. Hey, well, why are you yelling at me? They did it. Am I yelling? Mm, yeah. No, this is not yelling. I'm just demanding an explanation. That's all. Don't demand at me. Am I demanding? I meant to yell. Ben! Well, you're not mad at me. I think you're mad at yourself for, uh, for raising you to be such a fool. For, well, that was part of it. You know, you raised me, and, and then you made this big mistake with the closets. I'm going to stop the check. I'll try and stop the check. I don't think it's too late to do you that. You don't want to deal with that closet company. No? No, Why is they it? have a legal team. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a lot of stuff that, that you've accumulated here that's really ready to go. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's play a little game. You pick something up. I'll, I'll close my eyes. Just say what it is. I won't even look at it so I don't get too attached. Just tell me what it is, and I'll say yay or nay. All right. This uh, shoebox filled with 1969's tax returns. <laughs> yay. Keep it? I forget what yay means. I, I feel stupid. I thought I was a smart... I've got a computer. I wrote a, a, an apology note to my VCR for ever thinking it was difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, the computer, I, I don't understand why I can't do anything. And you know what? Yeah. You find someone in this country who can print out an envelope. Mm. Okay, maybe the fifth envelope, but you have to kill four to get to the fifth one. The first one comes out, oh, it's on the flap. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, it's on the back. Whoa, it's inside. How did that happen? Inside. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm losing all my hair. Yeah. Uh, no offense, Doc. None taken. Being bald, though, I think the only time it, it bothers me is if I become a reference point. You, you know what I mean? Well, well, let me give you an example. I, I, I was in a, a restaurant. Some guys are talking, and I can hear them. They go, uh, Joe, you know where the men's room is? The men's room? Yeah. Yeah, you see that bald guy over there? Yeah, the bald guy. Go down to the bald guy. Take a left. You see the fat Chinese lady. She's not always going to be there. But, Mike, let's, let's come back to that. Tell me again about that very unpleasant phone call you had with that woman. It was one of these rejection phone calls. Right. Now, I don't know if you've been through this. Well, it's this thing where your, your throat locks up during the conversation. But I'm on the phone. I'm talking. I'm going, no, we, we met at the party on Friday. I had, like, the blue shirt, the yellow tie. <clears throat> right, the, the balding. <clears throat> No, I just thought maybe if you wanted to get together, we can go out, you know, and see a drink, have a movie, kind of. A, I mean, uh, no, no, good for you. No, moving out of the country is nice. No, that's a good thing. No, I just figured I'd call because we had a good time at the party. If they give you a ring and say, what the heck, get together. But, uh, no, good for you. Yeah. I'll, no, good luck to you. Okay. All right, then, uh, be me. This is not uh, easy stuff to talk about, Mike, and I'm, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That sounded very good. That was very convincing. 
Thank you. And we're going to have to stop now because uh, our time is up. Thank you very much.